Good afternoon, well, this is Ivan O'Mara. I decided to make a video today. I usually wait like eight or seven, eight days, but today I'm gonna make a video. Uh, this video will be maybe an hour long. It won't be that long. And I'm gonna take my shower, go to the store with my green smokes. I'm off today. I just woke up like two hours ago, so like an hour ago, it's like two o'clock right now. So my room's nice and clean. I cleaned it. I cleaned it, Ivan? Yeah, I cleaned it two days ago. The day I made my last video, that's the day I cleaned it. I wiped the counters, the cupboard. I picked up, I don't know, like hundreds of cans. And I washed my bed sheets, my pillows, and I mopped and I sweeped. Everyone's nice and clean. Yeah. But today is your lucky day. I made a video a couple days later. My next video, I'm probably not going to make until like seven, eight days later. Because I'm getting tired of making videos, not getting paid for it. I keep saying that. I make videos for you guys. You guys acknowledge, don't even acknowledge that I watch my videos. You act like I watch myself. I don't get paid for anything. I'm not to do my that. I'm not to do my that. When I'm getting, I'm not making any videos on my side of channel. I'm, I'm peacing out. Because I'm going to forget about this channel when I'm king. That's what you need to understand. I'm going to forget about this channel when I'm king. So, Sarah. Yeah, to take your walk this week, Ivan. Yeah, this week I went four times. Four. I took three days off and I went four days. I'm probably gonna go again tonight. Um, and I might take tomorrow off, or I might go t today, tomorrow, and I take Wednesday off. I might do that. I'm gonna go tomorrow because I always eat the junk food at Dinty's. I always eat their burger and onion rings. So I want to burn those calories. So I just, I want you something healthy. Yeah, but usually when I work morning shifts at, at, uh, at, uh, at Dinty's, usually when I work morning shifts at Dinty's, obviously, I usually work from eight to three. I, I usually, I don't eat, I don't eat any breakfast. So because I don't, I don't eat all day, I crave the junk food. And all I eat that day is the burger and onion rings pretty much. And I go, I, and I can take my walk and burn those calories, but most of the week I eat food at home. I eat like health, pretty healthy food at home. Sometimes I get food, I order food, but barely anymore. I, I usually eat food at home. Cause I really want to lose this weight. I want to get down to 194 by next summer. I don't know what Anthony's doing. He, I made a pack with him. Hopefully he's exercising, but I have to keep tabs on that. Anthony, are you exercising? We made a pack, man. We gotta lose the weight by next July. So, yeah. And get my first girlfriend. One of the Dinty's chicks. Hopefully the one of those chicks are my girlfriend. The two Dinty's chicks, yeah. My sister has D Mice Jell, she's a hypocrite. She had her first her boyfriend and she's a cheating whore. Because I'm gonna ignore her when she cries, honestly. You can throw all these horrific thoughts, I'm gonna ignore you, man. You can't be selfish. Whereby it's okay for you to bang man, it's not okay for me to touch one chick. It doesn't work like that, man. You can't have double standards. I keep saying that. Some Sarah. In a good, like, 15 minutes, I'm going to go make my breakfast. And I'm going to make my coffee. What are you having for? My, my late breakfast will be, like, a burrito, egg burrito. She bought from Costco. The folks bought it from Costco. I'm going to eat that. I'll make myself a cup of coffee. This video will only be an hour long. I, I'm not going to make it any longer than an hour. An hour, maybe 10 minutes, I'm done. And I'll upload it, and I'm going to take my shower, go to the store, and try to show you with you guys. Now afterwards, I might watch. I'm going to finish up, catch up on Rings of Power. I'm two episodes behind. I saw the first three episodes. I didn't see episode four and five, so I'm going to watch that. Sarah. You start going over your book, Ivan? Yeah, I started going over my book. I'm going over all of volume three right now for the dialogue 
fixing up the dialogue that way you know sometimes it's it, just making sure you know who's talking in some 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 dialogue i'm fixing that up grammar and punctuation i don't know i don't know that much about grammar and punctuations the proofreader has to fix that my younger brother already fixed like the first few volumes and a bit of volume three the volume three i did not edit yet proofread yet um so i have to have a proof a proofreader go over my book next year i'll i'll i'll, I'll Invest all my tax money into my book for editing, proofreading. Cost me two thousand dollars maybe to proofread it. My younger brother already edited the first few volumes. There might still be some typos, so you have to go over the whole thing. But because he edited, it, you should give me a discount of like two thousand dollars. They charge me more than two thousand dollars or rip me off. My look, man. He, my younger brother already added volume one, volume two. You, that's not much work for you. All you have to do is just look, look out for typos and spelling. And you, all you gotta do is edit volume three. It won't take you that long. And you give me a deal for two thousand dollars. If you charge me four or five thousand dollars, you rip me off. I'm, I'm gonna find someone else to proofread it for me. I should be able to get it proofread for at least two thousand twenty five hundred dollars around there, which is affordable. I can afford that. Whereas four or five grand, I can't afford that. It's too expensive. Two thousand dollar range I can afford, whereas um, the, the the anything over like twenty hundred dollars is too expensive. I can't afford it. I don't make enough money to I I don't I don't I don't really save my money that well. I don't make enough money to to, to afford five thousand dollars. It's too expensive. I should get a deal for two thousand twenty hundred dollars to get my book proofread next year. So I'm sorry. All right, man, how much money do you make off your book? I don't need to brag, guys. Don't hate me. It's probably around nine, ten billion dollars, or I might make more. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. But my guess is around nine, ten billion dollars I make off the book, or I'm completely shocked that I make twenty plus billion off the book. Fifteen billion, sixteen billion, I make. Maybe 10 to 9 or maybe 15, 16 billion I make off the book. If I make like 15, 16 billion, I'll put like 750 million towards my condo. I'm going to pick it up more. I make 20 plus, I'm going to put a billion towards my condo. I make more than 20 billion, I'm going to pimp it out a billion towards it. Something fucking high tech. 500 million is already crazy high tech enough, but 1 billion is something like. Like a revolutionization of house building, man. Something fucking crazy. Yeah. I was, my guess is around 9, 10 billion I make off the book. I put 500 million towards my, my, my house. My luxurious house. It's a house. I'm building a house pretty much. My penthouse, right? Yeah. there.
And the Zane's IP is mine, I own it. I own the IP. I own it. It's my IP, I own it. And the gays know that you own it, yeah, they know that. They know I own it, obviously. They know I have the keys, so like fuck. But Ivan has the keys. He owns he owns the rights to his book. That means he's gonna make his he's gonna, he's gonna control his own money for his book. He's gonna make his buddies on his book. Fuck, man. And true will come on, obviously. At first, they're probably gonna be they're probably gonna be a little bit nice, Ivan. So you finish your book, and eventually the true will come up because they know that we can't act anymore. We can't act anymore because we know Ivan's the son of God. He has the keys. He's gonna make his buddies on this for the gates. We don't want him having that kind of power. The Trinity and seeing his wife, the, the Trinity will come out eventually. And I'm shocked, but holy shit, these people are wicked, yeah. And then I find out how rich they are. When they see me on the stairs, like, yeah, I mean, we own Hollywood. We own the whole thing. I'm like, holy shit. I'm like, so for 40 years, you you hate your wealth for me, man? You know, that's why yeah, I set everything up over my piece of man. Yeah, everything will finally hit me. Holy shit. When we live in that shitty house, that shitty apartment in, 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 in Montreal, I thought we were a poor family, and the whole time they were fucking rich. They hid their wealth. They bought this house in 2001. This is a pretty nice house for middle class. This is a nice house for middle class family. For someone who's a gatekeeper, this house is a piece of shit. They hid their wealth from me for, for 40 years. All the time, when I asked them for money to go to the theaters, they always said, no, we have no money. Yeah. Most of my life, most of my life, most of the time when I, when I want to do something, I have to rely on me working, my own money working to do stuff. Because the gates are fucking cheap as fuck. They, they, will never, they don't give me money. They barely give me money. Only time they'll give me pretty good money is like Christmas time. And that's it. For Christmas time, they might give me uh, uh, pretty good money. And that's it. But I'm on my own. I have to, if I don't work, they will never give me any money. That's why I work. So I can do stuff. Get beer, get smokes, get food, see movies, all that stuff. So, Sarah, pay for my medication, pay for my phone, my insurance, all that stuff. Yeah. Why are they hide the wealth meal, Ivan? There's two reasons. There's three reasons. The first reason is the game. Um, it's part. It's part of the game. Ivan cannot know that we're rich. There's two reasons, pretty much. The first reason is because the first reason is because they don't like me. They don't want me being a part of their their lavish life. That's the first reason. And second reason, they um. If I knew that they were rich, then I would be suspicious of why I'm poor. If you're, if I know that you're rich, why am I working dishwashing? So in order for them to keep me poor, they have to hide their wealth. Otherwise, they'll look bad on them. Okay, if 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 Ivan knows we're rich and we're the, we're the gates of the world, why why am why is Ivan working dishwashing? I would figure it out like that. But I eventually figured it out anyways. God protected me. That's why they hid the wealth from me. They don't like me. They don't want to be a part of the lavish life. And second reason is because they lock the doors on me. You can't keep me poor if I know you're rich. See, if I think they're a real class family, I'm working dishwashing, I, I, I might get duped and maybe think, okay, maybe I'm just not lucky to find jobs. These, these families are not rich. But if they're rich, I know they're the gates, they should be opening the door for me. I shouldn't be working dishwashing. That's why they hit the wall for me. But I figured it out. I'm not stupid. I'm a genius. Why did you figure out something fishy was going on? When I went to Heritage College, I took my design program. I knew something fishy. I, I started to wake up a little bit. I knew something. I'm like, okay, I, I, I do this. I go to school. School doesn't work out. What's going on here? I, I knew something fishy was going on. Uh, why, why, why am I a failure compared to my two brothers? They all have degrees. They have good paying jobs. And why am I a fucking dishwasher? What's going on here? At first, I thought because I didn't go to school. I didn't take take my life seriously. That's why I went to school. But I... I I remember when I did my exams for English and I web design. All my marks remained the same after my exams. I knew something fishy was going on. I didn't really wake up there, but I knew something fishy was going on. And eventually I figured it out. When I found out I was God, 
Like, okay, if I'm God, that means I have a miracle birth. If my father is God, that means I have a miracle birth. I look like my family. Okay, the, there has to be, that means I'm not really related to them. There has to be a, a, a good reason why I'm born into this family. It must be a special family. And it finally hit me, the three subscribers on my channel. School didn't work out. The job search is not going well. You know what I'm saying? They're, uh, they're, 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 they're the gatekeepers. But I didn't really know that those were locked on me until I applied to Mopify. I applied to Mopify. They're willing to pay me 17 to $19 an hour. And I was willing to work like 50 hours a week, which means I would have been pulling in like a thousand plus a week just cleaning houses. And I know how they only gave me two shifts for like a month. And I asked when I knew him, like, yeah, the doors are locked on me. I figured it out. And now I know the doors are locked on me. It's God protecting me. I, I woke up, obviously. And that's when I started to be serious. I started grinding. I started writing my book. I started writing my book and I finished it in like a year and a half. I finished it in 2020. But I got thrown in the hospital, obviously. And then while I was in the hospital, I wrote, I rewrote the prologue and I wrote Young Tactius in the hospital. I had my notebook, I had my pen and pencils. I wrote Young Tactius in the hospital. Um, yeah, and that's why I knew those locked on me. I knew, I'm like, yeah, those locked on me. And I was so pissed. And that's what led me to be serious about my book and I finished my book. I knew it was a lot of hope for me to make money. Okay, the doors locked me. I, I have the keys. I have to own something. You know, I mean, write your own Zanus book. I wrote my own Zanus book. And now I own the rights of Zanus. I finished the book, and that money's mine. That's I did it. That's what I said when I was proud of you, obviously, which is fucking evil. Yeah. Sir, Yeah. So they're gonna, they're gonna do their very best to, to, to get the rights off you. Yeah. I mean, if you sell to us, we're gonna we're gonna turn your movie into a, your book into a Hollywood movie. You're gonna we're gonna make you into a star, I mean. All you gotta do is bow to us. I'm like, no, I'm not gonna do all that, man. You said the same thing to my wife, and you duped her. She's not successful. And I'll make way more money selling that deal with Amazon than than being in Hollywood. I don't. I told you I don't want to be in Hollywood. Hollywood's not for me. I don't, I want nothing to do with the Hollywood system. I'd rather have my own company in a pet model like George Lucas. I want nothing to do with Hollywood. I want to start my own independent film studio from Hollywood. Is that better? And have total freedom for my movie and total financial control for my movie. So I control the money for my movie and I can and I control the, the creative process of the movie. Because I don't want these Hollywood companies tampering my story and ruining my story, perhaps ruining my story. Zanius is a special book. I wrote it. I don't want anyone ruining it. So, Sarah? Yeah. It's a special story, Zanius. You guys will see how read my book. I want a masterpiece. A masterpiece.
Yeah. I'm not even seriously saying it's that good. Yeah, man, it's a masterpiece. Amazing book. A little raw in some sections, obviously. Some 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 of the areas in the book are a little raw, but it's still top-notch story. Don't forget, I don't have a, an editor, right? I don't have a... Because uh, most people who traditionally publish, they have copy editors who, who help them who edit their book. I'm not talking about proofing. I'm talking about, like, editing, like, the, the plot, the characters. They, 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 they do that in, in traditional publishing. That's why the book reads more professionally. So, like, Lord of the Rings and Game of Thrones might read a little bit more professionally than my book. Because they have, all those guys have those editors. But my book is still a better story. And it's, I, I, I prefer to leave my full DNA on the book. Leave some of the rawness in there. And, and that way it's 100% my book. No one tampers with my story. Samsara? So my book is a little bit raw in some sections. But it's still a masterpiece. Samsara? So you read some sections, some sections, most of it's like top notch, and some sections you read it's a little bit of the dialogue, a little raw. Yeah, this could have, I even could have used an editor here. It's a little raw here, but it's still good. It's still top notch quality. Obviously. Some Sarah. Game of Thrones and Lord of the Rings have the better world building, the better, richer speech, but the story of mine stands out more. The story of mine is, is so rich, it's so good. But the dialogue, world building, in Game of Thrones and, and the Lord of the Rings is better than my book. But my story is better. Game of Thrones has a pretty, has pretty rich world building too. It's better than my book, obviously, the world building. My world is not that, I don't have a big world. It's pretty big, but it's not as big as like, it's not like Game of Thrones where you have West Wars, whatever it's called. And you have Lord of the Rings, you have Middle Earth. The world building in the Lord of the Rings is so in depth, it's so deep. Nobody can top that. No fantasy author can top that. It's too deep. And Game of Thrones has a pretty deep world building, I heard, too. George R. R. Martin's book. That's a pretty deep world building, too. Not as deep as Lord of the Rings, but it's pretty deep. The dialogue and the, 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 the speech, more rich. Than, my book has rich speech, but it's not as rich as like Game of Thrones and Lord of the Rings. But the story is rich. The story is so rich, it's so good. That's why it's a better book. Yeah, the end of the day, it comes down, and the characters, too. And it comes down to your story and your characters. Remember how I said, um, three years ago, I talked about Lord of the Rings and Xenus. J.R.R. Tolkien focuses more on wobbling and, and, and wobbling and information, less on uh, characters. As his characters in the book are a little bit dull. They're not, they don't really jump on page. They're a bit dull. Um, I never read Game of Thrones, but I heard Game of Thrones has good character development. Lord of the Rings doesn't have the greatest character development, but the warbling is so good. Whereas me, my warbling, the warbling descriptions in my book is a bit vague. I focus more on what the characters are saying, what they think, what they see, how they act, uh, and the story. I focus more on the character and story of my book. That's why my book is so interesting. Because I, I focus more on the character perspectives, less on dumping you with information about the trees, the grass, the horse, the door, some siren, the sword. I don't do that. I focus more on the character development for my book. Samsara. That's why it's a masterpiece. It's so good. And the gates know how good my book is. It's a masterpiece. Yeah, holy shit. I mean, how, how, how did I even come up with this story, man? This is a masterpiece. This book is going to be so popular. Yeah. That's why the Trinity Show will come out. They know this book is, 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 is what? Ivan's Ivan's journey to becoming a billionaire, a multi-billionaire, and being rich. They, they don't want me being a multi-billionaire, man. They're buying by their envy. That's why I came with keys. I'm not stupid. Yeah. Samsara? So 
how much you sell your book for, Ivan? My book, I'm going to sell for the ebook, I'll sell for $22. With tax, that's like 27 bucks. That's cheap for you guys. And the print, it just depends on printing costs. If it costs Lulu like 35 bucks to print it, I'll sell the book for maybe 80, 80, 85 dollars. The big, 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 big book. Looking at a beautiful book, man. Looking at an 800, 900, 1000 page book, man. Like a thick, like a thick book like that. It's red. I'm gonna have the inscriptions, lots of resumes with a sword and like that sword and like trees, gold, gold inscriptions, the trees, a sword. All my books will be nice to print. You don't want to pay 85 bucks, expensive 85 bucks for the print, you just buy the ebook for 200 dollars. You can read it on your laptop, on your iPad. You don't want to pay uh, the money for the uh, which a lot of people will buy the ebook. A lot of people don't feel like paying 85 bucks for a book. The only people who are really gonna buy the print are the rich, they can easily afford it, and the book nerds. Book nerds usually like having a, 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 a collection, so they're gonna buy the print. Like, Brownlee Durfee says he doesn't like reading ebook. He's going to buy the print, obviously. All these other booktubers are going to buy the print. So the rich, well, most likely, most of them will buy it. Some of them will buy the ebook. Most of them will buy the print. Um, but a lot of people are going to buy the ebooks. Probably more people will buy the ebook because it's cheaper. And people don't want to, people don't want to wait like a week to get their book in the mail. They want to read it right away. And that's why they buy the, uh, the, the ebook. Some people might buy both. They buy the ebook so they can read it right away, and they order the print so they can have it as a collection. It just depends, right? Print will be probably 80, 85 bucks for the for the for, for the book, the print, the printed the, the printed book, right? I'll have the book hardcover. Paperback, I even know hardcover. Like that Lord of the Rings picture I showed you, the red the red Lord of the Rings picture I showed you. Yeah, something like that. And the print, it will be a PDF file. You just pay and you download the file. You can read it on your on your laptop or your, or your, or your, or your phone, your iPad. You enjoy it. I take it for a ride. You order your takeout. You enjoy the uh, the book. I order Masterpiece. <laughs> I'm going to take it for a ride. You're going to read it. Holy shit, this is sick. It's a sick book, yeah. Obviously. I mean, seriously, man. You have some balls to say Lord of the Rings is worse than your book. It is, man. I read Lord of the Rings. And I read my book. My book is more interesting. It just is. My book is more interesting, Mr. Sarah. Yeah. The Lord of the Rings is a masterpiece, though. It's a good book. But it's a bit boring for me, in my, in my opinion. It's a bit dry for me. For me, personally, it's a bit dry. Obviously. I read all three books... All I have left is to read it. I read some, I don't know, like, I don't know, 30 pages of the appendices. I have to finish the appendices. But once I finished the appendices, I officially read, like, the full book. I read all three books, but the appendices I didn't finish on, on Return of the King. I have to finish that. And I might do a, I might maybe do a reread and read it again so I understand it better. Lord of the Rings, I might do a reread and read, read Fellowship of the Ring again. I'm going to skip the prologue this time. The, the When he talks about the races of Hobbes, I'm going to skip that. But that part's boring. I'm going to reread it again. That way I understand it more, obviously. Some Sarah? Yeah. After this part, I'm going to go upstairs and make coffee. I'm going to make my breakfast. Um, I'm eating, I'm going to eat, uh, the Costco sells these, uh, these egg burritos. They're really good. My, my, the folks bought it, so I'm going to eat some of that for my late breakfast. It's like 2.30 right now, and I'm eating my, my breakfast because I woke up late. I woke up at about 1 o'clock. It's like 2.30 right now, right? Yeah. Some Sarah. Was there another be shocked by your book? Yeah, she's like, holy shit, did you really write this book on your own? I'm like, yeah, I did. He's like, holy shit, this is a masterpiece, Ivan. I, I enjoyed your book, Ivan. Ivan, I enjoyed your book more than Harry Potter. I know my sister and the other read Harry Potter because I saw a picture of her buying the book, The Cursed Child, back in 2018. There's a picture of her holding the book in her hand. So my sister and the other obviously read Harry Potter, some of, some of Harry Potter. She might tell me, yeah, Ivan, I enjoyed your book more than Harry Potter. I don't think she read Lord of the Rings. Maybe she didn't, but she read Harry Potter. Some of Harry Potter, so... And she's like, yeah, I have, your book is very Harry Potter. Yeah, it's very Harry Potter. And Lord of the Rings. 
I never read the Harry Potter books. I have no interest in reading them. It's, uh, I, I just watch the movies. Game of Thrones, I have no interest in reading either. I'm not really, I'm going to be honest here, I'm not really a book guy. I don't have the attention span to read like five, a five book series. I can't do it. Obviously. The only thing I've read like most of the series of is Narnia. Narnia, I, I read like five of the seven books. I read Lion, Ocean, and Wardrobe, Prince Caspian, Last Battle. I read four of the books, and I read like I read like a quarter of Magician's Nephew, so I read about four and a half of the books. Whereas Horson's Boy, Voyage, Voyage on Terror, I did not read. Um, and Magician's Nephew, I didn't. Read, was, I only read like a quarter of that. Obviously. Silverchair I read. Last Battle I read. Yeah. Silverchair was a good book. I remember reading that. The Lost Cousin. That was really good, man. I remember reading that in grade 9. The Silver Chair. That was a good story. That was really good. That was really, really good. Yeah. How good your book, Ivan? Seriously, it's so good that Peter Jackson, and Mel Gibson, and all the directors in Hollywood are gonna want to get their hands on my story. They're all gonna. I wish I could direct that 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 fucking story, man. I want to turn that story into a movie. And they know the directors in Hollywood know I can give them a, a big, big budget. I can, I have the keys to the kingdom. I can easily make things for a billion to one point two five billion dollars. I'll make it for one point three. That way, is a I don't remember money. Make Z uh, for one point three billion dollars. I can make Xanus for. That's an unlimited budget. <laughs> Hundreds of millions towards visual effects, and the costumes, the armor, the weapons, the set building. I'm putting like 34, 33, 34 million dollars towards set building. I heard of sets for the movie. They they know they know Hollywood can't afford that. Plus, I can afford. It. I have the keys. I'll make my money back. Is that right? If Hollywood adapted my movie, they'd probably make it for three fifty million dollars. Zayn's three fifty million dollars worth Zayn's won't cut it. You gotta put like a lot of money towards that. Man. If you wanna have everything gonna be demons and devils, have an amazing war, have an amazing war building, you need to pour a lot of money towards that movie. I don't do it. You need to do that. Check my character, guys. You guys will see me in part two.